What's up, everybody? It's your host, Courage Goon. And guys, what I mean in the title by Just Add Minions is, guys, a lot of times in attacks, we don't have enough cleanup troops. And I'm going to show you in this video, if you just add some minions, you'll have plenty of cleanup in the end. And guys, these attacks are not quite TDH. These are Queen Wall Clowloons with about eight minions, roughly. Um, but... I'm going to show you a TDH attack towards the end, and then I'm going to show you a mass minion. Now this video is a little long, but I wanted to give you at least four examples of this particular attacking method with only eight minions. And these are just, like I said, these are purely cleanup guys. Um, they, they really uh, don't do a whole lot for uh, anything but taking down outside storages and percentage buildings. So right here, as you can see, the queen is coming in. Uh, Mini Mo from Asylum Sphere has funneled the queen in. <clears throat> and there's wall breakers to get as far as she can towards the enemy queen and take her out. Now she's had to rage there to get the wall breakers in because of the troll Tesla. But as you can see, the king has funneled her in quite nicely. She's got more wall breakers coming and there you go. Now when she does her Lalo, just pay attention to the minion placement and deployment. The way that Mini Mo deploys her minions is very reminiscent of a TDH attack. Alright, we got that pesky little archer tower down so the minions can have their way up there on the town hall and what have you. Queen's getting some of these air defense down. And here, here comes the Lalo portion. As you can see, there's two Lava Hounds in this attack uh, for three ADs. And that's okay. These Lava Hounds, especially with the buff uh, from the update before last one, uh, that gives them all they need to be able to take down the remaining ADs. This second Hound still hasn't popped yet, and I don't think it is. It's not. We're going to speed it up and hopefully you've seen that minion deployment. But as you can see, those minions are there just for cleanup, guys. They don't really work down the base like a TDH at all. They're just picking off a uh, percentage and they don't really get involved with the defenses. Here we go, another one, this is Mo. I guess this is Mini Mo's big account, Mo. <laughs> Although they're, they look very similar. So right here, we're just seeing funnel work again. Anytime you, you see a queen walk, guys, you always see some funnel work on one side to make sure that the queen goes the way the attacker wants the queen to go. And the attackers want the queen to go towards the town hall. And that's, you know, that's easy to answer. And why is because there's air defenses there and the attacker uh, is probably going to wall break in. So right here, uh, Mo is wanting to get the town hall down fast and that's why you've got uh, the Rage. Really nice wall break right there. Here comes the enemy CC and the Queen. Queen's under Rage once again. Now this part's a little dangerous. The King has came in uh, to the vicinity of the healers. And the healers can jump ship if they want to. But right now they're not, which is amazing. But they will. There they go. They're going to start. Oh, they couldn't bump him up. <laughs> King bit the farm. It's okay. So this is a really good push into the base right here by Mo. Mo's getting those balloons off right now. Here comes the next town by the Archer Tower. We got a hound popped already, so Mo needs to uh, definitely get going and try to get that uh, air defense down so that those pups can clean up. But Mo's already got the minions up top cleaning up these big storages. So they're doing their work while the balloons are doing their work. And the queen walk. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. Boom. Oh, pop. Come on, Lava Hound. Pop. Lava Hound is not going to pop. But it's okay. The base is a mess. The minions clean up. That's one thing about this attack, having that many minions, guys, is you're not as concerned about Lava Pups. 
typically in, in when I use my attacks I only run about four minions so it's usually very important to get a Lava Hound pop or both of them so um, watching these guys over we're in Asylum Sphere uh, this week I gotta say that I'm definitely probably gonna add some more uh, minions to my Queen Walk Balloon. So here's Mo again, six pack high view Mo, very nice. Doing some funnel work right now. And Mo is trying to make the queen go down and right. He wants that queen to go towards the air defense. And she will. She's got to pick off some storages and the enemy queen and what have you. But she's going to get there. Here comes the wall break. That's going to get her in. And she's going to be able to get down the air defenses, the CC, and probably an expo. And a sweeper. Which are all important to air attacks. Very much so. Oh, look at this. This is so, this is so beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Love seeing attacks like this that are so clean and crisp. Beautiful. Absolutely. Do all attacks go like this? No. But they can with a lot of planning. I love the direction the queen went here. She's going to take out that sweeper. And here comes Mo with his La Lo. And Mo deploys like me. Mo's a one finger deployer. I see that. I'm an index finger man. Some people are thumbs. I'm definitely index. There's that last rage. Right now he definitely needs to keep the queen out of the action right now. She only is on healer power. Uh, there's no more rage. And that's it guys. This base is a wrap. Minions clean up. Bingo bango. It's done. And now we got one more attack like this. And I probably should have cut this one out. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys some stuff. And and I just added the last one. The mass minion. I just added because I wanted you guys to see it. What can I say? I mean if you don't want to hang in there for that one. You know just exit out. But guys it's a cool attack. What can I say? So right here. Here's the last version of this with the eight minions. This is mini mo. Six by Kai Bu mini mo. So if we look at it, if this is the same person, Mini and, and Main, uh, Mini, Mo, and Mo are great at this attacking method. And basically, guys, this is not quite a TDH. This is really just a Queen Walk Laloon with some additional minions. Not coming up with a new name for it, though. There's no need for that. It's just really about getting that cleanup down. It, the thing about Queen Walk Laloons is the walk, depending on what you're doing, whether it's a charge or a walk, takes some time. And so you need those minions in place to get, to get that extra percentage down in a timely fashion. So right here, the queen's making her big move. She's taking out the enemy queen and the enemy CC. She's going to grab that second AD, and then it's going to be time for the Lalo, guys. But... Once that sweeper goes down, that gives um, the attacker the ability to come in uh, adjacent to the queen and not fight a sweeper. And that's exactly what Minimo is doing. And I like seeing that, guys. That's the kind of stuff. A lot of people ask us why we do certain types of attacks and things of that nature. And, guys, a lot of it, the answer is comfort zone. But also there's, there's real things here. And, and what Minimo is doing right here, pay attention to. The way that Minimo went into that base, the way that she, Minimo pushed her queen into the enemy queen with the ADs. I mean, every bit of that you need to see as an attacker to be able to, to plan this type of attack. I mean, you, you have to see this. So, there you go. This base has ripped the dream at this point. All right, guys, and let's wrap this one up. And here's that TDH I promised. Now, this one, guys, as you can see, uh, in a TDH, there is a ton of minions. There is usually uh, 16 to 18 minions, uh, typically. 
So uh, that's why you know this is a definitely different attacking strategy. These minions are going to be pushing into this base with the main attack. This just watch how this is used. How this attack differs from the ones you just seen. Uh, you know, uh, similar. There's going to be similar characteristics here. I mean, obviously, the queen walk is. You know, you, you got to funnel your queen, get her where you want her to go. Uh, the great thing this base is giving uh, Silver's word um, is the ADs are on the outside. I mean, his queen doesn't even have to go inside the base to get the enemy queen. However, uh, Silver wanted that bow down, and so Silver's going to get the bow down. He's going to get the enemy queen and. A wizard tower, maybe even an archer tower. Oh no, but the queen did not go after. The queen didn't bounce out here. I think that Silver wanted that queen to bounce out and go down the side of the space. So this could be a problem right here. But the great thing is, even if it didn't go to plan, even if this wasn't Silver's plan, uh, those air defense are so tightly packed that it doesn't matter. The Lilo will absolutely destroy and as you can look at the troop comp guys there's only one hound and it's in the CC and it is max hound. so let's watch this now there's one thing on this one I didn't I didn't like and that's he's fighting a sweeper I would have went from the top to support the Queen but silver is fighting this sweeper with all those rages and it's okay it it works out and I am not gonna question but watch these minions they're coming up and they're cleaning up right now. Uh, there was a lot of high percentage uh, buildings, so they weren't able to uh, get involved with much of the defenses. But uh, if it weren't for that, they would have. Uh, typically, when the TDH is run, it does. Uh, the minions do actually attack with the balloons. So uh, great job, Civil Word! Excellent TDH attack. And guys, this last one is a mass minion. This is a mass minion by Flip Junior of Fusion. And let's check this out. And I think Fusion guys is a um, it's a feeder clan to six slits, as I do believe. So uh, right here, as you can see here, um, it's very similar uh, in style to the TDH, uh, with the exception of there is less balloons, less balloons, more minions, and they're definitely going to get involved with this base for sure. They're going to get in the meat and potatoes of this and take on this base right in the teeth. And I like the way that this uh, this base is laid out for this attack. As you can see, the queen's gonna go down into that corridor and she's gonna have access to two air defense, an X-bow, the queen, the C, I mean, this base is giving it to a uh, queen walk. This is a beautiful base for this setup. I mean, it is. there is no question that this is the right attack right here for Flip Jr. I love bases like this. These are no-brainer bases. They they absolutely scream uh, a queen walk. Now now he could have chose any other attack, but just a queen walk portion. It could have been a queen walk mass hog. It could have been a queen walk fabi. I mean it it could have been anything as long as there was a queen walk in it because the way it's set up is perfect. But the air portion um, definitely because of the AD being down in this corridor. That's why it's air. But now the queen did not engage that air defense and her healers are being taken down. That's the unfortunate part. And her healers are gone. So the queen is probably not going to get down. Yep, she's going to get it down. She targeted it first. Okay, so that was it. The plan did happen. I'm sure Fusion wanted uh, his queen to be around for this part of the attack. But let's just watch these minions work. Let's watch them, guys. This is something you don't get to see very often. I've only seen a handful of these attacks um, over the time I've been covering Clash stuff, and I love to see them every time. One Lava Hound here is still up. One of them popped. It would have been nice if he'd have got two Hounds popped. There it is! Look at that, guys. Ask and you receive. Boom. The Hound popped right on cue. Watch the minions take down the remaining defense, and it's ripped the dream. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. These minions do work in these attacks. Sorry it took so long, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of everything. And guys, if you're interested in joining my family, Dukes, Echoes, uh, there's a link in the description, guys. Hit us up. 
And guys, if you're familiar or not with the Springtrap Show with me and Echo Through Me, just check us out Saturday or Sunday night on Echo's channel. You'll like it. You can ask questions for the guests in the live stream, or you can hit us up on Twitter or several discords and ask questions that way as well. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I am out of here.